Hey guys, Dr. Brown here again. I'm back in the ED, so I thought I'd come back at you with some updates and guidance. Last time we talked about the importance of flattening the curve and how that's accomplished. Basically, stay home. Uh, and we talked also about the signs and symptoms you want to be on the lookout for to help you know when it's time to come seek care in the emergency department. Today, I want to talk to you about COVID-19 testing. Testing is something that's been all over the media basically since this all started. And that's because testing is really important in an epidemic or a pandemic to be able to figure out where the cases are and then figure out what you can do to either contain or mitigate, mitigate the disease. Without going into an entire biostatistics lecture, <laughs> um, diagnostic tests have characteristics about them that determine how useful they are. Things like sensitivity, specificity, negative predictive value, positive predictive value. I want to talk about the sensitivity of COVID-19 testing. Most people on the planet, including here in the United States, are using a nasal swab as the specimen for it. And the sensitivity for that from the numbers I've seen is between about 60 to 70 percent, which is really lousy. Basically what that means is if you take 10 people all of whom have COVID, you swab them and you send it, four of those people are gonna have a negative result even though they actually have COVID, which is a disaster because a lot of people are using these results to guide their behavior or help determine whether or not they're gonna do something. Like, oh, I wanna go see my grandparents, but I don't wanna give them COVID, so I'm gonna make sure I don't have it before I go there. Or I'm gonna go see my sister with breast cancer and I don't want exposure to COVID, so I'm gonna just check and see if I have it before I go there. So basically, I think the best thing to do is just assume that everybody has it, including yourself, and uh, act accordingly.